Welcome to another Hayward training video. This video is intended to help the installer with the installation of Hayward's EcoStar variable speed pump. In future videos we will cover programming and operations for both standalone and with controllers. Before installing the EcoStar, it is important that you read the installation manual that comes with the pump. There is also a technical guide for pool professionals that can be obtained from your local Hayward sales or technical representative. Remember, this video is a helpful tool but does not replace the installation manual that comes with the pump. Plumbing the EcoStar is easy since it comes with unions that will accept 2 inch or 2 and a half inch pipe. For a new pool where maximum flow for the pump is needed for certain functions, 3 inch plumbing should be used. Maximum flow for the EcoStar will be 125 to 160 gallons per minute depending upon the total head loss. Using the right fittings as shown, 3 inch pipe can be brought right up to the pump suction or return. 2.5 inch plumbing can be used but will limit the maximum flow to around 120 gallons per minute. EcoStar unions are CPVC so make sure the right glue and primer are used. Positioning the pump on the pad for ease of viewing the interface on the back of the EcoStar is not important since the interface can be installed in four different positions. The two screws shown need to be loosened to reposition the interface. These four different positions allow the user to easily view the interface for programming and operation. Make sure to retighten the two screws to secure the interface to the EcoStar. If needed, the interface can be removed from the EcoStar and installed on a vertical surface near the pump or up to 500 feet away, such as a wall inside a house. The EcoStar comes with a wall mount kit to accomplish this move. To start, you need to loosen the two screws that secure the interface to the back of the EcoStar. After lifting the interface off the pump, Unplug the red adapter from the interface and set the interface aside. Now secure the blank cover to the back of the pump as shown. Next, remove the screw that secures the electrical cover plate and set the cover aside. We now need to install the wall mounting bracket using the two screws provided. Install the appropriate anchors if needed. Leave the bracket loose to allow the cable to be threaded into place. We will now need to procure a 6 wire Cat5 shielded cable to make the connection from the pump to the interface. We need to now remove the 6 wire connector from the pump along with the one from the interface. Where you bring wires into the EcoStar, there are two electrical connections, one marked power and one marked data. The data connection is the one to use for this installation. As shown, you will need to procure a half inch strain relief cord connector for proper installation. After inserting the cable in the channel of the wall mount adapter and through the data connector on the pump, connect the six wires to each wire connector in the same manner so each wire matches the connection point on each connector. Reinsert the six wire connector into the pump and interface as shown. Make sure the cable coming into the pump is placed in the channel provided. Secure the two screws left loose on the wall mounting bracket, then attach the interface to the wall bracket. We are now going to wire the 230 high voltage to the EcoStar. As always, check with the local approving authority for proper wire size, breaker size, and conduit type required. In most cases, 15 amps is the largest breaker needed. Use a GFCI breaker if required by local code. Attach the appropriate conduit connector to the opening marked power on the EcoStar. Note, if the pump is being controlled by a Hayward Gold Line controller, make sure the power is coming directly from a breaker and not the filter pump relay. As you see in this shot, make sure to wire the ground wire first before connecting the high voltage lines. This will make the installation easier. Fighting to connect the ground wire after connecting the high voltage line could cause a few choice words to be said. Make sure to connect the bond wire as shown. 
If we are going to data connect the EcoStar to a Hayward GoLine controller, there will be no need to wall mount the EcoStar interface as the controller will be providing operational control for the pump. You will need to procure two wire Cat5 cable along with a half inch strain relief cord connector for this installation. As we did with the wall mounting of the interface, this will be done through the data opening on the pump. The two wires need to be connected as shown with the 8 and 7 connectors marked Combus on the EcoStar. Be careful not to connect the 7 and 8 just to the left of the 24 volt connections as this will result in a malfunction. Make sure the cable is run in the channel provided. Route the two wire cable from the EcoStar into the low voltage path of the Hayward Gold Line controller. Connect the two wires to 2 and 3 on the remote display connector on the upper left hand side of the main control board. Connect 7 from the EcoStar to 2 on the controller and 8 from the EcoStar to 3 on the controller. We have concluded the installation video for the EcoStar. For operation and programming of the EcoStar, view one of the other videos in this series.